Hey everyone! Happy 3rd anniversary and welcome to this installment of the Stars Align Devlog. My name is Shinyo and I'll be today's narrator. We have a handful of things to show off, but before we get started it's important to mention that there will be some minor spoilers in this log, so if you want to go in completely blind you should probably stop watching. Well, without further ado, let's get right into it. First of all, meet the Star Child. We introduced them briefly in the last development log, but this right here is the fabled hero of the universe. They're destined to save Loom and you're the one in control. In Stars Align, the Star Child will be fully customizable with accessories purchased using Stardust, which can be found around the planets across the universe. You'll be able to obtain both world-specific and general clothing items, such as outfits, accessories, and more. Shops are located both in the hub as Novella's shop, and in the game worlds from their NPC inhabitants. And don't worry, obtaining all clothing will not be an 100% requirement. Unfortunately, we will not be able to ship this feature in the first release because we want to rewrite the system's code, so save up the Stardust for a post-release shop update. And with that out of the way, let's move on to the next topic. That's right! Stars Align will have its first modern release this summer. As discussed in the last devlog, it will contain the prologue, world 1, the hub, and a handful of bonus levels. Release 2 will have world 2 and 3, and even more bonus levels. And updates between releases will add missing features and additional bonus levels. And as you just saw, we remade world 1 from scratch, complete with updated visuals, polished gameplay, and a revised story. But that's not all, because the terminal has also gotten a massive rework. Let's take a look at it while we talk about the game a little more. We have effectively remastered the entire game to match the updated engine. Our hope is to no longer be restricted to data builds and concepts so we can make our worlds both beautiful and creative, and fun to play with the new moveset. We have evolved as a team over the last few years and we truly believe that we have peaked. And speaking of bonus levels, we actually have a lot of things to talk about regarding them, so let's get into it. Hi there! I'm Signal and I'm here to talk about the bonus levels. Welcome to the hub of amazing fan submitted levels, the Rainbow Frontier. This colorful temple houses the portals to distant worlds that are smaller than the galaxy's main planets. It's your job as the galaxy savior to reconnect these planets to the terminal, all while collecting stars along the way. Stages in the Frontier are unlocked with Stardust. They are sorted between four difficulties, easy, medium, hard, and expert, with the stages being more expensive based on its rate of difficulty. We are also looking into letting more developers create bonus levels now that the game has progressed more. Keep an eye out on the Discord server for more information on that coming soon. That's all the news we have to share right now for the Rainbow Frontier. And now, for our final announcements. Now, earlier in this devlog we discussed the Star Child and customization with Stardust. And with that, we'd like to hold a contest for outfits for the game, with Robux, Tester Access, and more up in the air for the winners. There will be more info in the Discord server posted shortly after this video's premiere ends, so please join our server on screen and in the description for more info. And now, for the very last announcement of the day. That's right! We're collaborating with the fighting team to bring a bonus level themed up to the game. More information on it will be provided when available. And with that, we hope you enjoyed this development log. We apologize for the lack of updates in the recent months, but we hope this makes it clear as to why we were a little quiet. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you again next time.